Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to go through how to multiply and divide by powers of 10. And since we're working within a base 10 number system, we can move the decimal in order to get to the correct answers when multiplying and dividing by powers of 10. And as you can see, there are eight problems on your screen there that we're going to go through together in order to get this down. Now up top is, very, is, is something very important that we need to think of while we go through these problems. Think, should my answer increase in value or decrease? And it's something to think about as we move our decimals within these problems. So let's jump right into number one here where we have 43 and one-tenth times a thousand. I'm going to rewrite my 43 and one-tenth underneath here so I can move the decimal um, and I have enough room. So when working with powers of 10, if it's written in standard form, you count the number of zeros. So we have a thousand here, which has one, two, three zeros. So that means we move the decimal three times in order to push everything to the correct place. Now we're multiplying, so we need to move the decimal to the right. And think, we're multiplying something by a thousand, so our answer should increase in value. So if we accidentally move the decimal to the left, let's actually do that. One, two, three we would get an answer of 431 ten thousandths, which is a very small number. And that doesn't make sense for multiplying by a thousand. Let's move it to the right and see what the actual answer is. One, two, three. Fill with two zeros, put our decimal, and our actual answer is 43,100. Now that makes more sense and happens to be the correct answer. Again, we multiplied 43 and 1 tenth by a thousand, so our answer should increase in value. So like the hint up top says, we need to think about, is my answer increasing, increasing in value or decreasing? And that's going to affect which way we move the decimal. So number two, we have 43 and 1 tenth divided by a thousand. So our answer is going to decrease in value. When we divide, we move the decimal to the left. And again, our thousand or our power of 10 is in standard form, so we count the number of zeros, and that's how many times we move the decimal. One, two, three. One, two, three. And we get 431 ten thousandths as our answer. Number three, we have seven and 45 hundredths times 10 to the second power, which means 10 times 10, which is 100. So here, our power of 10 is written in exponential form. It's written with an exponent, that exponent of two. And that exponent actually tells us how many times we move the decimal in order to push everything to the correct place. Now we're multiplying, so we need to increase the value of our answer. So we're going to move the decimal to the right twice. One, two. So it's going to go at the end, and we end up with 745. Now number four, we're dividing. So we're moving the decimal to the left two times. Take a look at our exponent. One, two. So we end up with 745 ten thousandths. Number five, we have a whole number times 10 to the power of six. So ex exponential form here with our power of 10. 
Now when we have a whole number, we can think of it as putting zeros on the end of that 85 in order to push it to the correct place value, which is the same as moving the decimal. I'll show you both so you can see the similarity. So 10 to the sixth power, that means we move the decimal six times. And we're multiplying, so we're going to move it to the right and increase the value of our answer. So again, we have a whole number, so we can just play zeros at the end of that 85, and we need six of them. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Put our commas in here, and we end up with 85 million for our answer. Now I mentioned moving the decimal here for the whole number, and it's going to give us the same thing, so I'm going to do it up top here. Now a decimal comes after a whole number, after a whole number. And let's move it six times. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then we fill with zeros here, which gives us the same thing as just putting those zeros on the end. So 85 million for number five. Number six, we have 75 hundredths times a thousand. So standard form, three zeros, move the decimal three times. So let's move it three times to the right. Multiplication, increase the value. One, two, three. Fill with the zero. And our decimal there is at the end, so it's just a whole number. So we do not need to place that decimal. And we could leave it as 700. 50. Number seven, three divided by a hundred. So we have a whole number divided by a power of 10. Two zeros, move the decimal twice. And it's division, so we're going to decrease in value and move the decimal to the left twice. So again, a decimal comes right after a whole number. So I can put the decimal here and move it twice. One, two. Fill with the zero and we end up with an answer of three hundredths. Lastly, number eight, five tenths divided by ten to the fourth power. So our power of ten is in exponential form. So let's look at our exponent of four. That means we can move the decimal four times in order to move everything to the correct place and give us the correct answer. So 5 tenths, and we need to move it to the left four times. We're decreasing the value. We're dividing by 10 to the fourth power. So 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3. And here is our answer. So 1, 2, 3, 4 zeros and a 5. So that would be Let's see here, tenths place, hundredths, thousandths, ten thousandths, hundred, th hundred thousandths. So five hundred thousandths would be our answer. All right, there you have it. There's multiplying and dividing by powers of 10. Hopefully that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.